12 minutes past the hour time for today's tech check block responding to the short seller report that is taking down that stock today. Let's get to Deirdre Bosa out west. Hi, Deirdre. So, Contessa, that short seller would be Hindenburg Researcher. It was behind Nikola and Adani's fall. Block just responding and going pretty hard, actually. Quote, we intend to work with the SEC and explore legal action against Hindenburg Research for the factually inaccurate and misleading report they shared about our cash app business today. Hindenburg is known for these types of attacks, which are designed solely to allow short sellers to profit from a declining stock price. Let me give you some context here. Hindenburg narrows in on the cash app. And take a look at this chart because Block really became a Wall Street darling due to the success of that cash app. Meanwhile, you have PayPal's Venmo. It actually pioneered this new simpler interface for peer-to-peer -peer or P2P payments. Square's cash app, though, it seemed to come out of nowhere, climbing the app store charts. It had better profitability, and it had this cool factor that became a kind of phenomenon in hip-hop culture. Hindenburg, though, says that Block won those advantages through flawed and murky means. Founder and CEO Jack Dorsey often talks about his mission to serve the under and the unbanked. Hindenburg says, yes, they did embrace that, but a specific segment of it, and he says criminals. Now, Dorsey in the past has often pointed to how hip-hop artists rap about using cash app. Hindenburg points out that these songs often talk about how they use it in scams to traffic drugs, even pay for murder. Now, the short seller also knocks that profitability that made Cash App uh, more appealing to investors than Venmo, for example. Hindenburg says that it fueled that profitability by avoiding a key banking regulation meant to protect merchants and points to accelerating losses at Afterpay, which was Block's giant $29 billion acquisition, which has, I had to check that number, like, five times because it just, it happened at the peak. It feels like so much money for a fintech company these days. Well, Deirdre, do some of these same issues potentially plague some of uh, the cash apps or blocks competitors? Like a Venmo? Well, that's yeah. the key. Venmo hasn't been as profitable. They haven't been able to really capitalize in the same way. And that's why you've sort of seen Block pull ahead and Cash App sort of enter the lexicon. Venmo still is very much the verb and it's widely used and its total payment volume is so much more than that of the Cash App, but just hasn't been able to get those profits in place, the same kind of profitability. And maybe this is why. In the reporting you just gave, there were a lot of allegations of criminality, of the, device, yeah. of, the, of the app being used to finance murder and all kinds of things. Are there specifics in this uh, report? I mean, it is largely anecdotal, and that's what the street is taking notice of as well, is that, yeah, they, they even made a compilation of music videos, rappers using Cash App um, and talking about it for things that are illegal. Um, but is there actual evidence to point to that, not that we know of yet, and that goes to what Square Block is saying now, is that they're going to prove this wrong and that there's no merit to these allegations. And that's also why this stock has maybe come back. It was down as much as 20 percent, but a lot of the notes out from the street are saying, you know, this doesn't really change it. These are concerns, but we don't know how many transactions um, violate these sort of know your customer mm -hmm. or fraud rules. All right, Deirdre, thank you very much. Deirdre Bosa reporting from San Francisco.